What is up guys, in today's video we're going to be going over how we can add swipe actions to our lists in SwiftUI and it's going to look like this. So we have a normal list over here and if we swipe to the right we'll get this small microphone over here. So we can add an action there if we want, just tap on it and it will execute the action. Otherwise we can also swipe to the left and we'll be presented with some options such as editing the tab or deleting it entirely. And I've only implemented the delete function so that we can get rid of certain tab items. And of course you can replace these with whatever you want. They can actually edit something or they can do something else. But I just want to show you that you can customize them with any color and any icon that you want. So we can either delete the item or we can add some other action that the user wants to perform. But with that being said, let's go ahead and create a new empty project in Xcode. And the first thing we want to do is create an array. So here we're going to go ahead and type in add state private var name list, which is going to equal an array of our favorite superheroes, Mario, Luigi, Toad, the princess and Bowser. And right below that, we're going to have to go inside the body and create a VStack. And inside the VStack, we'll go ahead and add a list, which is going to loop through this for each loop. So inside here, we type in that we want to iterate through the name list and the ID is going to be attached to backslash dot self. So for each name inside this name list, we're going to create a text field or actually just a text block with the name inside. And we're going to provide some padding as well. So, so far we have a list that doesn't do anything. It just displays what we have inside the array. Now let's go ahead and try to add these swipe actions to our program. Now, SwiftUI has made this incredibly simple for us. All we have to do is go below the view that we want to edit and type in swipe actions and it's going to ask us for some content. And to simplify this, we just get rid of that part and open a block because inside here we want to insert a button and a label. So we'll start with the button, which in this case will have a role of dot destructive. So it's going to appear red. And inside here you want to go ahead and include the code that deletes an element. And I'm not going to insert it here, but if you're curious on how I created that, you can go ahead and check out the description box down below because I've included a link to the source code for this project. And inside there, I added some code to delete items. So in case you're curious, feel free to check that out. It's down below and yeah, just go for it. Otherwise, we're just going to add a to do delete and of course, replace that with your own code. Now the button actually needs a label. So let's go ahead and create that immediately. And the label is just going to be delete and it's going to have a system image of trash.fill. Now if we go ahead and click on the live preview, you should be able to swipe left to delete. And as you can see, if you swipe a little, it will show the trash bin. Otherwise, if you swipe entirely, it should execute that action. But of course, let me also show you how to add a few more of those in case you want to have multiple elements on your swipe actions. So it's fairly simple. You just create another one of the swipe actions. You can actually just go ahead and copy and paste it in entirely. And for the second one, let's not give it a role, but it's just going to be a button and it will be to do edit. So here in the label, we can type in edit. And I want there to be a pencil, so square dot and dot pencil. And in addition to this, I want it to appear as blue. So all we have to do to make that work is type in dot tint and type in dot blue. Now, if we go ahead and swipe to the left, we're going to have a new icon appear, which is the blue pencil square. And you can tap on it and it will execute the code that you insert inside here. Now the final swipe action I need to show you is how to make it appear from the left because right now we can do it from the right, but nothing happens if we drag to the left. So just as before, we'll go ahead and copy this and paste it inside here right below. Now we can type in to do microphone 
and we're just going to type in here mic and as the icon mic dot fill with a tint of dot green but that's just going to add it from the right again and we do not want that so go ahead to your swipe actions and inside here add a new modifier which is called edge and type in dot leading now when we decide to swipe it's going to appear on the left side otherwise again from the left side if you swipe to the left you'll get all of these icons from the right side so it's actually that simple to implement swipe actions and as always guys i really hope this video helped and with that being said thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video